very good afternoon to you. Uh, Sue Kinnear with you. Now, you'll have heard of this. Yeah, rock all. There are warnings of Gale, Viking, North Utsira, South Utsira, Forties, Dogger, Fisher, German Bight, Humber, Thames, Dover, Trafalgar, Finisterre, rock all. Yes, Rockall is famous the world over because it is, of course, part of the shipping forecast. Yet Rockall is so tiny, it doesn't even qualify as an island. Instead, it's an islet, nothing but a windswept rock in the Atlantic. Only five people have survived for more than a night on Rockall. But Chris Cam Cameron, who lives in Cherhill near Cairn, is planning to stay for a whole week on the rock this coming June to raise millions of pounds for charity. Now, Cam, this has been one heck of an adventure to get together. But how confident are you that this time the challenge will get underway? Well, you, you've been with us right from the start, Sue, so thank you for that. Uh, mm-hmm. We appreciate your, your support. We, we are... Going this year, the fuel prices have stabilised and come down and we now have a vessel and we've got a, a departure date of the 26th of May. So from the 1st of June, hopefully till something like the, the 15th of June, we'll be out on the rock. The, the initial weeks staying on the rock has been extended. So if, if I can possibly do it, if it's physically possible to do so, I'd, I'd like to stay longer. Really? I mean, just describe yeah. Rockall for us so we've got a picture in our head of just how barren this islet is. It's a, it's a tiny rock. It's the tip of a volcano which sticks out of the sea 230 miles northwest. It takes 36 hours to get out there, about 24 to 36 hours to get out there by boat. It, it's just a desolate, extremely uninhabitable place with, with a rock ledge which is four metres by 1.5 metres. So my team and I are going to live on that rock ledge uh, and transmit to the whole world. My, my radio operator, no, Nobby Stiles, and uh, Emil Bergman, my ascent commander, who's a mountaineer, are going to be transmitting 24 hours a day for a week from Rockall, which is just, for the Radio Ham community, this, this is just the, the, the pinnacle of, of Radio Ham experiences. So, and, and hoping to raise money for, for the Royal Navy Royal Marines Charity and the Army Benevolent Fund. Yes, that, as much as a million it. pounds, yeah? We hope for that, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, money's tight, Sue. <laughs> yes. And people don't have two pennies to rub together at the moment, so... yeah. It's, yeah, it's, you know, it's a tough Any ask. donation is great. But, but the actual process of living on Rockall, on that ledge, I mean, there's no vegetation, there's no water. You know, you're going to have to take, well, everything, aren't you, to survive? Um, absolutely everything. Um, so, solar panels for electricity, wind turbine for electricity, fuel. I just discovered the other day that my ration of 150 litres of water for the 50 days is being met with 60 litres of fuel for the generator as well. So there's a lot of kit to take on that tiny little, that tiny little spot. I mean, it's just logistically, it, it is a nightmare. To get um, on, I would imagine it's impossible as well. Well, we have a very experienced mountaineer, Emil, who's done Russian mountains and Everest and various other amazing feats of mountaineering so he's our ascent commander he, he we're in his safe hands so you're you're confident you're going to get there you're going to get on and you want to stay longer than the week how much longer yeah until the 15th of july i mean nick hancock is the world record holder after tom mclean's attempt in 1984 for 40 days nick nick managed to stay in 2014 for 46 days so he's the world record holder if i can beat that that'd be great if not and it's highly improbable but if i can that'd be fantastic and nick's been absolutely amazing about the whole thing he, he understands that someday someone will beat it it may not be me but he, he's been amazing just a, a lovely lovely man Cam, there are many challenges you could have taken on. There are many extraordinary things you could have undertaken to raise money for charity. Why Rockall and living on it in particular? I mean, it seems, forgive me, nuts. It is, Sue. I, <laughs> I, I was in lockdown, as, as we discussed before, and, and just this, this feeling of desperation and isolation and just loneliness, wanting to go to work but not being able to go to work. And at the same time, Aaron Wheeler, the documentary filmmaker, 
had had exactly the same feelings, and and we just by purely by chance we managed to to, to get together, uh, and he's making this amazing documentary, The Edge of Existence, about this this desolation and loneliness, and it was just this feeling of, I mean, as a veteran, I I I, I speak to veterans all the time uh, via my virtual pub on a Saturday night for the Gordon Highlanders, uh, oh. of which I was a member before. And, and I speak to these people and it's just, you know, they, they want to reach out and they want somebody to talk to who understands them. And I'd like to think I do because I've been there and I, I've had that feeling of, of just loneliness and desperation. And our armed forces who are working currently on doing ambulance runs and, and all various other support activities for the NHS and just who, who at Christmas and New Year are, are frequently away from their families. I just think, you know what, 50 days is nothing when yeah. these guys and girls are away for months on end for the families. It's just, it's a, it's a small thing to do. Well, it might seem veterans. small to you, but it seems like an enormous challenge to me. Um, so I dare say you'll be starting training, or have you already started training to get yourself in tip-top shape for this? I, I've been training for two, <laughs> two years. I guess, Sue, I've been training my whole life for this. <laughs> yeah, certainly the last two years I, I, I've been in training. with, And I've even got a land pod built, uh, our survival pod built outside in the garden uh, from November, and I've been living in that for, for the last two months. Oh, my goodness. How fantastic. Um, I bet your yeah, wife absolutely yeah. loves that, oh, doesn't yeah, she? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> An easy night's sleep for her, I think. <laughs> so it's going to be quite cosy. Uh, you and how many others going? Three? Yeah, or two others, Emil two and, others. And, and Nobby. But they'll be doing shifts on the radio, so at any one time there'll probably be one, possibly two in the pod and the other one transmitting for a whole week. Fantastic. So it's just, and, and for Radio Hams, this is an amazing opportunity to get a QSL code. Uh, and details will be on our website at rockallexped.com. Rockallexped.com if you want to find out more about what Cam Cameron is getting up to to raise uh, a million pounds for military charities. Cam, I wish you luck with it. We'll keep in touch with you as we count down towards May uh, and the big departure date. But good luck with the training, with getting it all together. And, uh, and thanks for sharing your extraordinary adventure with us uh, on BBC Radio Watcher today. You take care. Thank you so much, Sue, for supporting us. It's really much appreciated. Thank you. It's a fascinating mission. Cam Cameron from Churhill, near Khan, who is planning to stay on Rockall, one of the world's most inhospitable spots, a rock in the Atlantic, for 50 days.